Hi. Hi. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Did you want to give us a quick intro? <laughs> sure. Um, so I'm Alex. I'm a third year uh, Bachelor of Psych student at UNSW. I was in Psychology Society for the past two years and I work as a receptionist and an admin assistant at a psych clinic. Cool. So Alex is going to show us around. Where are we at? We're at John Clancy. So, because of COVID, you've been doing most of your lectures online? Yes. I had my first term of first year in person, and, and then I was online until the beginning of my third year. So usually, if no COVID, you'd be in here. It's like the biggest yeah. lecture theatre. It's like the main hall at UNSW. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got in. No lectures on That was Clancy. So this is where we hang out mainly, normally in better weather. So that's library lawn, where everyone has a nap or sits and eat. I remember having lunch here every day. Yeah, it's quite good because the food court's really nearby as well. Um, so it's called library lawn because that's the library. Um, <laughs> which is where I spend most of my time if I'm not in class. There's also stuff like, there's a bank there, right? There's like Combank. Yeah, and Oz Post. There's a post office. Yeah, it's like a suburb. <laughs> It, it has its own postcode. It's a little truck suburb. Oh, this is the food court. There is a range of stuff. There's like a nice like pasta bar, and then the sushi, noodles, and like a kebab shop. Which you can never go wrong with a kebab shop. Um, and yeah, and there's a nice cafe upstairs, which we forgot about. And then these are the cats' rooms, which are the tube. Welcome to a cheat room. Um, so these are the cats' rooms. I don't know why it's called cats, but it is. Um, and yeah, these are where you have your like one hour, one to two hour mm. weekly sessions with like a tutor. It's more like a high school class. Yeah, is. that's what a tutor. So a lecture yeah. is like you've got like a thousand people, and then the tutor is small group. Where you do like collaborative work or like group work. Mm. Um, or you can come study in here when there's like no classes. Yes. Like, it's actually really good because the, the PowerPoint goes on every TV, oh. so you can see it like no matter where you're sitting. Because the old rooms were used to be like you're trying to get yeah. over someone's head and you can't see anything. Welcome to a computer lab. Um, so we do our stats classes because we're using software. Everyone gets a personalized student ID, and that's how they log into the computer. And, and you get your own ID card and that's how you get into the room. Ooh, show us an ID card. Oh no, my photo's so bad. Oh, you? your personal information. Oh, cute. Oh, that's very close up. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, the cameras for the ID cards are terrible. <laughs> and yes, you're always blurry and you never quite look good. My last one, I got rained on before I took the photo. So I <laughs> that too. I think mine were pretty embarrassing as well. <laughs> it's kind of a rite of passage. <laughs> Now we're gonna go to meet Wendy up at postgrad area. Let's go. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Hi, Wendy. Hello. Um, thanks for showing us around the postdoc area. Welcome to my crib. This is level 14, which is one of the levels that the PhD students use. All the top three levels of this building are for um, postgrad students. So we had the rooms that we were just in, which the PhD students can use to like have meetings and stuff. And this is what my desk is. Come on, what's here? <laughs> this is a beanbag chair that someone left here that I've never used, but I should. And this is my desk. Ah. The paper I was working on today, which I struggled to write that one sentence for 20 minutes. So if you're a PhD student, does every person get one desk? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, nice. So even in the combined program when you're doing your master's and PhD, you get a desk as well because you're doing your PhD. Where is everyone? I don't know. People don't come onto campus as much anymore after like um, COVID. And a lot of people are like graduating or a lot of people are in the combined program so they're in clinic and stuff. Ah, uh, makes so sense. It's pretty empty most of the time, which is nice because you have space to work and stuff. Nice. And you can personalize your space? Yeah, you can put whatever you want. I'm, I don't put that much stuff, but 
Here, welcome to my collection of miniatures. This was from Wayne. She made it on a 3D printer. Oh, cool. Yes. And this is a USB that you gave me. Yes. Oh my god, I remember that. Yeah. I realized this woman not going to make a video, so I'm going to find it. <laughs> the kitchen area is always like super messy, but this is where you can just like chill and sit. The printer and PhD students get like free printing. Ping pong table which a lot of PhD students socialize and you write your name on the board if you want to be involved in the ping pong tournament. People usually sit around here for lunch and stuff. Fun. And like, this is where you could meet a lot of other students because, um, for example, Cassie, our friend, postgrad coordinator, she organizes morning teas every week oh, for postgrad students fun. come around here. Um, or if you just have lunch here, there's always people around and everyone's friendly and you can chat and meet people. psychology experiments. People also have work here in the offices. A lot of professors' offices are here and on this side as well. Let's go inside. So this is the waiting lounge where participants would wait for testing. And this is kind of the common area where we have a lot of lab meetings. So what types of experiments or tests would be run in these types of labs? So yeah, they're usually kind of social psych, clinical psych adjacent type stuff. Yeah. Like Tom Denson does a lot of anger and aggression studies. There's testing room. I remember testing in these types of rooms. And then, is there an open testing room? Yeah, and then they never gave me the key because I never had to test. Oh, look, we can see inside. So it's literally just a, a desk, a computer. And then I remember when you, well, I remember when you go into a testing room, you sit down and then like the experiment is on the computer. So you just have to follow the prompts basically. And that's my supervisor's office. Oh. Is she inside? She's the best. No, she's not inside. <laughs> but she's the best. And we have meetings in there. Okay, sweet. This is a psychophys lab. This is Amy. Hi Amy. Welcome to the lab. <laughs> Psychophys. Amy's currently running a participant. So we're going to leave her to run. Oh, is that there, Reese? Oh my god, I shouldn't I'm show you this. She's <laughs> shocking them with electricity. It is ethics approved, FYI, for whoever is watching this. <laughs> yeah, Don't want any complaints. <laughs> it's very ethically it's tiny shocks for science purposes. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Amy. Yeah. Bye. 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 Okay, so we got into John Clancy. Um, this is the main lecture hall, the biggest one, mm -hmm. I think, on campus. Um, and then basically just sit there and watch a lecture when lectures are in person, which unfortunately for me, haven't been for two years. Um, but I know other courses are having them in person. Yes. I used to sit, I'd walk up those stairs and then I used to sit right there, around there, pretty much every lecture. Uh, Do you have a spot? I was there. Like a couple rows back from above the Yeah, set. you have like the back seat bandits and then you also have people who sit like right there. Fun fact, I sat here with my mother when I was like 14 years old and went to a Benedict Cumberbatch Q&A. A Benedict Cumberbatch Q&A? Yeah. I love Benedict Cumberbatch. And I'm convinced he waved at me. 